How are we doing everybody? Charles with Mr. 380 Easy Products here and today we are going to go over on part three of the Easy Grip Safety's Deep Dive. Now this is going to go over the actual parts. They have been scaled up as you can see they're gigantic and what they do, how they do it, and the importance of that. First part is naming. Second part is going to be the function and interactions of the parts within each other and other parts in the gun. Three is going to be the installation specifics and kind of things to notate is this is a larger scale. It's easier to talk about. And then four story times. So let's get into this. All right. So with the naming, we're going to go ahead and take off this side panel here. And we've got three parts. Now the parts are very simple. Uh, they're easy, easily identifiable. First part is going to be the grip safety. Second part is going to be the firing pin block lever. So this lever acts upon the firing pin block. And part number three in the back here is the trigger bar. All right, so how do they interact? We could start at the front, but having to work, you know, front to back is actually a little bit more difficult in this sense. So we're going to go ahead and take off the firing pin block lever and we're going to start with the grip safety. So we're going to ignore how this works and we're going to focus on the right side of the gun. So you've got your trigger bar. The trigger bar is going to be a stainless steel uh, color and it's probably stainless steel. And then the other part that's not listed here is going to actually be in this location right here if you look on the right rear uh, side of your slide, you can actually see a half moon cutout and inside of that sticking up out of the frame is going to be another half moon. That is actually your trigger disconnect. Now I'll try to explain this as best I can. Hopefully I don't lose too many people. There is a three pronged piece with a half moon that sticks up. that interact with each other and basically the grip safety plays middleman making sure they don't get mixed up and they don't over travel so as the trigger disconnect gets pushed down so it's half moon goes down because of the slide moving to the rear It will rotate in a counterclockwise direction, moving the bar that sits in front here up into this section of the frame. It gets it out of your way. We'll go over that specifically on part number three, which is next, and what the importance of that is. But for now, we're just going to leave it at that. As you pull the trigger, trigger bar goes back. Your grip safety is forward. Trigger disconnect doesn't get in the way. As the trigger disconnect functions, when it goes into, when it locks up again, uh, or into battery forward position on the slide, it'll rotate clockwise, and the half moon will be sticking up, and you can actually pull on the trigger. And actually, I would do something. So, that's the trigger bar. Let's go to the firing pin block lever. Now, regardless if this is the actual terminology, this is what I'm calling it because that's exactly what it is. It's a lever that activates your firing pin block. Or deactivates it. Depends on which one. Who's writing the code, right? So, this has two positions that it works in and it can operate kind of in both both so or in between we're going to go ahead and get the firing pin block lever now it's exactly that it's a lever that acts upon the firing pin block up in the slide and i'm going to show you exactly how it does it now this is not mechanically fixed. I 
believe I said it before, if not, I'm just gonna make sure I cover it. It sits in this slot. There's absolutely no pressure, it sits between the frame and the grip safety. You can wallow this out. You can also break it out. Uh, there's not a lot of material on the front. There's plenty of material on the back, but it can move out of that if it were to encounter any issues. So make sure you're keeping uh, your slides up to up to par as far as cleaning, and you shouldn't ever have any issues with that. So in the uh, in the safe position for the grip safety. This is in a downward position, which is out of the way of the slide. That way you can take the slide off, put the slide on, and pretty much anything in between. Uh, it will keep your firing pin block engaged because it's not pressing on it. It presses on it right here. The two holes here, the bottom hole is actually the mounting hole and it's the, the center which it rotates around. So just so you know, if you take it off and you drop it, it's the bottom hole with this hole on the very top and a tang going down. Who knew? Now, when you press the grip safety, it will move exactly with it. There's very little slop in it. All right, so we just went over all three parts, the grip safety, the trigger bar, and the firing pin block lever. So now it's installation specifics time. So if you have a non-thumb safety variant of the EZs, this is going to apply to you. You have to have your slide in the rearmost position locked. If you can, take an empty magazine, put it up in there, and have it engage and keep the slide engaged to the rear. That way it doesn't snap shut on you while you're working with it. When you take the grip safety out, if the slide is in the rear most position, uh, you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, the, the trigger disconnect, the lever that goes right in front of the grip safety is gonna be rotated up to the rear. Allowing easy installation of the grip safety when you get it, or if you're getting somebody else's. Now, the firing pin block lever, most of the time, will be sticking rearward. But as you slide it in, it'll actually catch and guide itself in. I have had a couple times where it was in front, and I don't know how this one happened, but it got in between uh, the side of the grip safety and the frame. It found a little hole. So, be careful with that. Be mindful of that. If it doesn't feel right, it's not right. These things slide in with very little effort. Um, as long as you line it up, when you rotate the bottom down to put the pin in and line up the spring, it should go pretty much, you know, just simple boom. Um, if you have the thumb safety variant, make sure the thumb safety is in the up safe position as that will make sure that the uh, Trigger disconnect isn't an issue, but if you're still having that issue where you're putting it in, it seems like it's jamming on something, uh, go ahead and take the slide and lock it to the rear. Keep the slide on for all installations. Installation specifics, 9EZ, 380EZ, non-thumb safety variants, slide lock to the rear, install and, or remove and install your grip safety with the slide lock to the rear. If you can put an empty magazine in, it makes it a lot easier. When you're installing it, if you have a thumb safety, do the same. Also make sure the thumb safety is on in the up position and that should take care of pretty much any issue you have. Because that at the same time of taking care of the firing pin block lever, it also takes care of the trigger disconnect. So make sure you do that. If you have any questions, please um, refer to my videos. All right, so now that we've gone all over that, and if you have any questions, please make sure you drop them down below, shoot me an email, follow the links in the description. Now we're gonna get to story time. And the specifics, if you, if you just went straight to the story time, you missed a lot of good stuff, make sure you back up. But, 
grip tape on an EZ completely. Electrical tape all the way around the grip. Hogue over molded grips. Somebody put out a video saying throw electrical tape on it. It's perfectly fine. The problem with that is you run into two two big deals. One, your firing pin block is disengaged all the time. Problem number two is your firing pin block lever is in the up position at all times. Now under firing that's not an issue but as you can see right here if this is completely compressed the firing pin block lever sticks up out of the slide. If you're lucky you did tape or something else uh, on here with the slide off that way you immediately regretted making the decision because you went to put on your slide and but were careful and were found that that was in the way and you kind of can't get the slide on. Uh, if you did it with the slide on well you're about to find out first time you go to clean it you're gonna have to take off all of the stuff that you put on here or cut the two slits to make sure the grip safety can move. Guy had grip tape completely wrapped around this thing and I'm talking completely it was terrible asked him what the problem was and why you put so much grip tape on it and he said that he couldn't get the grip safety to engage which, by the way 2.7 millimeters it's like this big it's super super tiny um, and I told him, I was like, have you taken it apart to clean it? He said, no. I've shot about 500 rounds through it. He's, I'm thinking about doing it. And I told him that he was going to have to take off all of that or free the grip safety. That way he can take the slide off. And he didn't know. So be aware. Your grip safety is completely compressed. Your firing pin block lever is up so you can't put the slide on you can't take the slide off hopefully all the series well the series not all of them answered all your questions regarding the easy grip safeties if there's something more you want me to dive into i'm thinking about making this uh a little bit a little bit more substantial get a trigger housing or a hammer housing and stuff like that uh, let me know if you like this and you want to see another gun Shoot me an email. Leave me something on Facebook. We'll have fun with it. Because I'm thinking a, a revolver would be really sweet. This big. But, thank you again for watching the video.